guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Carly and today I'm going to be showing you how I did this James Charles inspired makeup look. So if you want to figure out how I did that, just keep watching. Alright guys, so we're just going to jump right in. First off, I'm taking my Maybelline and St. Adrian Winder Concealer and I'm using that as a base for my eyeshadow. And then I'll be taking a fluffy blending brush and the shade 518 from the James Charles Morphe Palette, blending that through my crease. And all of the eyeshadows I'll be using today are from the James Charles Morphe Palette. Next, I'm taking the shade Rested and blending that into the middle portion of my crease. And then after that, I'll be taking the shade You're Kidding and blending that onto the outer portion of my crease. Next, I'm taking that same Instant Age Rewind Concealer and a flat paddle brush and carving out my crease. And now I'll be taking a doe foot eyeshadow brush and applying B on the inner one third to half of my eyelid. Next, I'm taking that You're Kidding shade again and just blending on the outer part of my eyelid and I'm blending that right over B to create an orange transition shade. Next, I'm taking the shade Escape, which is kind of a deep purple, and I'm putting that on my outer corner and blending that up through my crease with your kidding. And we're just going to do the same exact thing on the other eye. Alright, so next up we're going to take the Baby Skin Maybelline Pore Eraser. I'm just putting that over my T-zone, and then any excess product that I have, I'm going to put over the rest of my face and neck. And then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and my Real Technique sponge. And with these sponges, you want to make sure not to drag or circle. You want to make sure to bounce, and this is going to help make sure you don't get any streaks or creases in your foundation or your concealer. Next, I'm taking that same concealer, and I'm going to go over with um, any points that need highlighted or concealed, like my under eye bags. Next, I'm just taking my CoverGirl setting powder, and I'm doing sort of like a half-bake, and instead of leaving it on my face for 10 minutes like normal, I'm just going to leave it on for a couple minutes until I grab my bigger fluffy brush and set the rest of my face, then I will swipe it off. Next, I'm just taking a pointed detailer eyeshadow brush, and I'm grabbing that B shade again, and just putting it on my lower lash line on the inner corner. And then next I'm going to be taking the shade Social Blade and placing that right next to B. And you want to make sure to blend these two shades together so there's not a harsh line between them. And then after Social Blade, I'm going to be taking the shade Playground and blending that over Social Blade. And 
And next I'll be taking that same escape shade that we used on the top and blending that into the top color. Next up, I'm taking my Morphe Gel Eyeliner and my Tarte Eyeliner Brush and creating a winged eyeliner look. And after this, I'll be taking my Lash Sensational Mascara and applying that normally. Next up, I'm going to take my fake eyelashes, and mine are the Ardell brand. I really like their Demi Wispy style. I'm taking my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush, and I'm placing that on the apples of my cheeks, and I also like to place a little bit over my nose during the spring and summertime, just to kind of mimic a little bit of like a sun-kissed look. And now I'm taking Face from the James Charles palette and using that as a highlighter. And I like to place my highlighter over my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and under my brow bone. And last but not least, I'm just taking my Morphe Gloss in the shade Pixie, and that will be the last step of this look. guys that's the end of my video today if you could please do me a huge favor and hit that big red subscribe button down below that helps me a lot and also i'm going to be leaving my social media information and in the description box below you can check that out and see some of my previous looks thank you guys so much for watching